Hello everybody, in this video number 22 we'll see how to create attributes in RQDA. So actually attribute is a kind of a specific uh, function. Uh, why I'm saying that? Because after, if uh, you want to get some uh, results, some, uh, I mean if you want to do some uh, conditional code retrieving, you can do it uh, with only with the with with the console and not the GUI application. Like this is like the opposite uh, of what happened with uh, the because remember on the settings you can make some conditionals retrieving with the files categories or cases. So that was good working like this. But for the for the attributes. Um, you, you, you only can uh, export it, uh, you can only do it with the command line. But there is some uh, other advantages and I will just ex uh, give you an example. Here what we will do, we have some files and let's say that the first one is uh, a man and I would even go further and I would say that he's a man uh, junior. And after he is a uh, man, so I have three interviews. This is just an example to see how to create attributes. So he's middle, so he's not senior and not junior, but middle. I, I would call it like this. And the last one is a senior. And just imagine that at the end you've got uh, more files and that all of them are just uh, men or women and after they, they have three ages category so it could be junior, senior or woman. Before what we did is that we used for instance uh, the cases and we, we were, we were uh, doing like this, we created a uh, like men and we created something like this like like women like this. But this was quite confusing because if you add uh, files to this category, to this case, you may mistake. That's to say you may put two times the same person as a man and as a woman. And this is quite annoying if you do that kind of mistake. And we will see that with the attributes, it's uh, uh, you, you, you won't do that kind of mistake. So how to do attributes? We will do two attributes. The first one will be called uh, gender. And the second one will be called uh, age cat, cat like category. Uh, and let's just do a memo to remember uh, what we will do. But first, uh, now first I will not I will not do a memo. I will do a class. So I will click on class, and I can choose every time between numeric or characters. And personally speaking, I prefer to go to the numeric one but we can also choose character. You will see what's the meaning just in a couple of seconds. And I will go here, class two. I've got the window which open and I will choose a uh, numeric as well. And after I will just do uh, the memo here. So I will say for the categories like this, one equals junior, two equals middle and three equals senior. And I will save it. And now I will do the same for the gender, or almost the same, because the information will not be the same. So one equals equals junior, and two uh, one equals sorry men and two women. Let's do like this. And now we will go to the files and attributes. The we will give the attributes to the files. And actually, we've decided to choose the uh, characters. So we have to remember that uh, one means junior for this one, two middle and three senior. And for the gender, one means uh, senior, uh, no, one means men and two means, means women. But if we wanted, we could have choose characters and instead to remember the one, two, three, we may, we may write every time men, women like this men, women, or junior, middle, or senior. But actually I prefer to choose the numeric because I think we are less likely to make mistake because if we write like men with, uh, if we do a mistake in men or in the word woman, or if we do a mistake in one of the word, uh, it would be, it wouldn't be right after to do the code retrieval. For instance, uh, if you, if you, If you didn't decide to choose the numeric one, but if you decided to choose the character class, 
And then if you if you write something like junior, and if you do a mistake, uh, if you write junior for all the junior, but if one of the of the guys in your interview is a junior, but you just write like uh, I don't know, you, you just make a mistake and write two O, the the computer will think that this junior with two O is something completely different and I think we that's why I recommend you to choose the numeric uh, one uh, if you can for sure because uh, it's um, you are more less likely to do some mistake so now let's attribute the let's let's make the attribution so we will begin to attribute the gender so this is very important begin to to click here on gender this has to be blue, the gender here. So just make it blue by clicking on it and then go to files. And now we will attribute the gender. So to do it, we will just click on attribution here. And here we have to say one for men or two for girls. So this is like it says a man. So we, we need to write one. And before to save and close, we really need here to click on the emptiness here this is very important you cannot just write run and do save and close because it won't save anything so you just need to write the the the, the value one and then i really insist but this is very important to click on the empty so on the white space somewhere here and then save and close and we'll do the same stuff with the next one so that's also a man so just do a man and save and close and the last one is a woman so just enter the number two and save and close. So now you see that this is an advantage because with the other techniques here, we may mistake by we, we may do some mistake. But like this, it's not possible to do any mistake. Uh, I mean, it's not possible to 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 give uh, uh, a person the two sex. We can the two gender. We cannot say that the person is at the same time a man and uh, a woman. But with that one. With the case, we may do the mistake. So that's maybe why it's nice to use the attributes. So let's do a right click. And now I will just uh, click on that one. And as you can see here, I've got the information. So the first one is the gender number one, that's to say man, man and woman. And you see, you cannot, you cannot mistake about it. And I really, really recommend you uh, every time you give new attribution to do right click and to, to, sh to, to, to click on view attributes. And then you really see that you didn't do any mistake on the attribution. Let's do the same one with the, so with the men. And here you really need to click on, on uh, uh, no, sorry here on attributes and here you really need to click on hcat so this needs to be uh, highlighted in blue and then you go back to the files and let's do the same stuff so here uh, we say junior is one okay after the second one uh, this is number two because we no oh sorry he's a senior okay so senior is number three we said okay and let's say that this one, we even didn't write something. Uh, let's rename the folder first and say this is a middle. And let's click OK. And let's put the attribute and now say that this one is a middle. So let's just choose number two for middle. And then let's go again to view the attributes. And here we can see that he is um, yeah, number one is really a man junior, so one one, that's right. This is man senior one three, okay, and woman two two, woman middle two two. And for sure, you can add as much uh, attribute as you want, uh, so you can add some more columns. And even if you add more files, then you will need to fill in the attributes. And after that, we can make some very uh, specific uh, code retrieval. For instance, if people are talking about Facebook, we can say Okay, I only want to have uh, the, the the man like, like this. The man talking, uh, the man who are uh, junior, the junior man talking about Facebook. And if we add some more attributes, such as country, for instance, imagine that we've got interviews uh, and we have people living in France and other in Switzerland. So we will say we will add a new. Uh, code called the country 
And let's say uh, we, we can do like this. One is France and two is Switzerland, for instance, or the opposite, whatever. And after, you will say, OK, you can make very specific queries. You say, OK, I want the opinion about the people who were talking about Facebook, but those people only need to be junior men living in Switzerland or maybe a senior woman living in France and so on and so on. And, and, and with attributes, you can make very, very, very specific queries to make very specific code retrievals. But I won't talk about code retrievals in this video. I guess I will do it, do it on the other video. Uh, and actually, I just want to tell you that I will use the other file that I created, which is a little bit much more um, exhaustive much more uh, finished so just to tell you i will just close this this one i will open the new project i created so okay and now if i show you this one okay this is this one it has got 18 interview and if i go on view attributes you can see that uh, All of the 18th person have got one for men or two for women, so it's working like this. And the age is one junior, two middle, and three senior. But for sure, if you want to make uh, much more age categories, you can just make more. You can say like one is from zero to ten years old, uh, two is from etc. Uh, etc. Et you can just choose what you want to do. Um, and by the way, if my memory is good, after you can even uh, do some uh, exportation, uh, you can export the attributes and you can save it. And after you can use the attributes on, uh, you can link it in with other package of the R software. The, the, you can use it with other package. Uh, I've never tried it, but if you want to try it, just check the official uh, RQDI documentation. And I think there is some notes about it, so it may be interesting to, to do that if you if you want to make some, uh, some, some other kind of studies. And by the way, I didn't talk about it, but you can also do some text mining with the RQDA. But I won't uh, afford this topic. I won't uh, tell you about it. But also, if you want to, to have some information, just go to the official website uh, to check some more information about it. So in the next video, we will just use that folder uh, to make some very uh, specific uh, queries. OK, so hope you enjoyed this uh, video. And uh, we'll see us on the next one. Cheers.